Since the birth of Iran's Islamic Revolution, the enemy has been retreating. Israel's major slogan is from the Nile to the Euphrates. When the regime used the slogan in every confrontation with Arab countries in the region, it would steal and occupy more territory. Ever since the founding of the Islamic Republic, the establishment and the Brothers in the Islamic Revolution Guard's Corps have been supporting, arming and training resistance movements. As a result, Israel, since its inception until now, has been in retreat. The resistance movements are present and have achieved great victories. Perhaps the clearest example is the American occupation forces fleeing Iraq. The Americans themselves admitted that 80% of their military losses in Iraq came from what they called armed groups backed by Iran. The goal at the current stage is to wipe out the entire American military presence in the region to avenge all the terrorist acts U.S. forces have committed, and it will be a base for the arrival of our hidden imam. The Yemeni resistance is the one that changes the map of political confrontations. Today, the Yemeni resistance targets Saudi Arabia's interests deep inside the kingdom and threatens Israeli interests. Today, all are convinced that for those waging war on Yemen, there is no benefit. Today, we see that the democracy America has always promoted and used as a pretext to invade and intervene in regions across the globe is fake and forged and is under scrutiny even inside the U.S. According to their own officials, around half of the American people are accused of terrorism, reject their democratic results, and were trying to orchestrate a coup. The axis led by the Islamic Republic is on the rise and has constant victories. That's why the American axis, day after day, is a broken, doomed one primarily because the slogans they have been promoting and selling has become unconvincing even in their own country. 